What's up, Bigfoot and Yeti collectors? I'm Toy Insanity. And this is my Bigfoot and Yeti collection, Bigfoot and Yeti BFF project, episode 13. Got a great one, though. Got a, got a great one. This is kind of a, a grail item for many people. Back in the day, back in the day, 2008. Funko made. These Wacky Wobblers, 2008, so it was before the creation of Funko Pops, they put out San Diego Comic Con exclusives. These aren't, these aren't con exclusive variants. Like, if you want a Bigfoot or a Yeti, or in fact a Sasquatch, Wacky Wobbler bobbleheads, you had to get them in these packages, and they were only available at the con, and there's only 333 made of each okay when, when they do limited editions and con exclusive nowadays they, they're usually two thousand per piece or higher so there's 333 yeti 333 bigfoot and then there's there's actually another one 333 sasquatch and he you know these are both the same sculpt and sasquatch is the same sculpt too he's a little darker i'll put a picture on the screen and then there is a promotional Glow in the dark variant. So, if you're an absolute completist, there's four versions of this wacky wobbler. But I'm so happy to have these two. They're so rare, and I have been wanting these for so long, and wanting them to share with you on my channel for so long. Never opened, never held in my blue gloved hand. And there's a lot to talk about too, because you can see there's a DVD, there's a whole movie involved, and the kind of the entire history of Funko. Is involved with these figures but first we got to have that look I have never taken this out of package and fun fact I'm never putting it back in the package either I don't collect packaging I don't idolize boxes but is it actually tied it's tied in I didn't expect that but I need to I need to hold these Bigfoot and Yeti I would tell you, I you know I would like to have the Sasquatch too but I'm not gonna pay eBay prices for it I'm happy to just have these because what is the name of this project, Bigfoot and Yeti. My Bigfoot and Yeti collection. There's plenty of Sasquatches in it, in it, but that's usually just a, a synonym for Bigfoot. So the deal is Funko was started in 1998 by Mike Becker. Mike Becker is the writer, director, and producer of this animated film. Foot, Phantom of the Forest. We'll read what it says on the back. I think it's the same thing on the back of this. And then I'm going to... I'm going to tell you all about what happens in this. It's a 15-minute film. Well, it's 16 and 30 with credits, I think. There's only a couple credits. Okay, Bigfoot, Bigfoot is out. Bigfoot is out. I gotta get my boy Yeti. Oh, I kind of can't. I can't even believe it. I have these. Yeah, okay. Funko, founded 1998 by Mike Becker. And he sold it in 2005 to Brian Mariotti. And the funny thing is, you know, I assume they're just like best friends anyway. Brian Mariotti is in the special thanks in the credits of this film. Not only that, you know, this the founder. Yo, it's broken. Okay, I see what's broken. This should be an easy fix. This needs to be glued to the top of that. Okay, easy fix, easy fix. I'm not even mad, not even mad. Didn't expect this either. There's some weird discoloration on the back. There's a weird stickiness. I don't know if that's mold release. Oh, it stinks. Bigfoot doesn't stink. There's some degrading going on with my Yeti. I should be able to fix it. Okay. So yeah, I've never taken these out of the pack, but I did take one of the DVDs out so I could watch it. And I'm going to provide you a synopsis. I'm going to put some images on the screen from the animated th feature. Uh, I don't know if you guys A little animated flick called Foot, Phantom of the Forest. 2008. Let's read. Okay, oh my gosh. Bigfoot and Yeti. I love them. I love them. I really do. Okay, you know you can get the Funko Pops of Bigfoot. And then there's a... They didn't call it a Yeti variant. They called it the Snowy Bigfoot variant. So effectively it's a Yeti. And dude, that's so expensive. It's so crazily expensive because it was... You know, it's a flock figure and it was a con exclusive. You know, that's kind of a bucket list item. Not gonna lie, to have the Funko Pops. But for me... 
stylistically. And if you think how much, if you think how older these are and how rare they are, only 333 of each. These are more of a grail item for me anyway. Because <sighs> let me specifically point out, Bigfoot and Yeti. That's my jam. Bigfoot and Yeti. Wacky wobblers in hand. First time ever. <sighs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There's weird stickiness on my glove from the Yeti. But I want, I want, I want, I want, I, 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 I want, I want to hold them up together so bad right now. And then, like I said, I swear, I promise, I'm gonna tell you about the the movie. Okay, I watched the movie. It's cute. It's cute. And I assume there's some autobiographical stuff going on with Mike Becker. But anyway, the deal. Okay, so he sells Funko. Mike Becker sells it to Brian Mariotti. And like I said, they're probably best buds. And obviously, um. Mike Becker is still very involved with Funko to the point where I should put this on the screen too. Just this year, they did the uh, Funko Olympics or whatever. And, the, and now both of those dudes, all, they have Funko Pops made of them. It's a two pack you can get. I, I don't know who, look, this is not, this is not the Mike Becker and Brian Mariotti playlist. This is not Mike Becker and Brian Mariotti a BFF, but it should be mentioned, you know, those, t those guys are bad. But point is, you know, I, 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 I don't follow everything Funko and I don't collect everything, but I collect big, I collect Bigfoot and Yeti and a lot of other stuff. Check the channel. Okay. But the point was, okay. Uh, shout out to them for, for even making these. They look so good. I love them so much. I love them so much. Wacky wobblers. Mm, thumbs up. Okay. Okay. It says here, Montgomery Finch and his mom live in the modest town of Snohomish, Washington in the 1970s. And I feel, I feel like that is Mike Becker's story. When Monty discovers that his recently deceased father was on the trail of the Phantom of the Forest, he finds himself on a quest that leads deep into the majestic and mysterious backwoods of the Pacific Northwest. Mike Becker, founder of Funko Inc. and uh, Kirk Damaris, retro culture filmmaker and author, bring you this charming tale of faith and healing that will transport you to a time when America was engrossed with rumors of Bigfoot sightings. Foot features the beautiful award-winning animation of Vance Reeser. Okay. In the flick, they call it Bigfoot. They don't call it Sasquatch. <sighs> and then let's make sure this says the same thing. Okay, it says the exact same thing. Very cool. Very cool. 2008 Wacky Wobblers. They were only available at San Diego Comic-Con. And I now own, possess, and am holding Bigfoot and Yeti. They're going to look amazing on the Bigfoot and Yeti shelf. Now, the thing, I watched it. I watched it. It's cute. So like it says, he's being raised by a single mom. He decides to go through a box of his dad's stuff. And he finds an old reel, a video reel, where his father is pointing out details of where to find Bigfoot. They call him Bigfoot, okay? So the kid, it's this funny little scene. He looks up on his shelf, and he's he, he's got little toys. They kind of look, it kind of looks like Rat Fink and um, like an army man and one of those Russ Berry figures. And they're basically all three telling him, go, go, seek it, find it. So he decides to hop on his bike, and he goes out to the uh, Snohomish, you know, forest. It's implied that his father was a forest ranger or something. But... He spends the night, he builds a fowler, dances around, the next, the next day he trips over a, he's looking for a Bigfoot, he trips over a tree branch, and it's, it's implied, it's shown that something is watching him or stalking him, and you know, it's implied to be Bigfoot, but then it turns out it was just the Native American he met the day earlier on the way to the forest, because the Funko Forest, okay, the Wetmore Forest, the Snohomish, Washington, Bigfoot, Foot Phantom Forest, where the Native American warned him to, you know, it's just a myth. Don't go, don't go seeking him. Of course, his toys told him to seek it, to find it. The Native American told him, you're wasting time, kid. It's dangerous out there. Anyway, uh, it's not Bigfoot walking, watching him, stalking him. It's the, it's the fella, the Native American from the trading post. And then it feels like, yeah, it's like 15 minutes. It's, it's shortly thereafter, they both see it. They see the Bigfoot. He looks like this. Here's the screenshot. Okay. Because it's actually cute. And then... The child, Montgomery Finch, he snaps a picture, and then they're ju they're just in awe, you know. It's very majestic and mysterious, and then it runs off. it runs off. It doesn't. Oh my gosh. It doesn't really interact with them. It observes them and runs off. But he did get a picture, and then I can't remember. I think it's the child. He says, "Oh, we should sell this photo and be rich." And then, but I think it's the Native American who says, "I have a better idea." And then it cuts to the revamped, restructured trading post, which is now like a toy shop. It's a little tourist trap, tourist looking toy shop where they're selling t-shirts and figurines of Bigfoot. 
and it's cute because there's there's a picture from the movie of Bigfoot giving a thumbs up, and there's a picture of um, the photo. So apparently they they integrated their ideas because obviously they had to get rich to afford uh, the merchandising taking place in this little tourist trap shop. They had to get they had to have gotten rich from this one photo, I guess. But then uh, you know I feel like the Native American guy has the property, the structure of the building. But now they're both living the dream, selling toys and collectibles and T-shirts and obviously Funko Wacky Wobbles. Remember, Pops Pops weren't even a thing until 2010. These, these are 2008. 2008, but there they are. Uh, Mike Becker and his buddy Brian Mariotti uh, selling stuff, capitalism, uh, toyeticness, wins there in the Snohomish Forest. Anyway, I, I just, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what the message is in the film. I love these figures. These are the coolest wacky wobblers I have. But oh my goodness, golly gosh. I love these. Bigfoot Insanity, Yeti Insanity, Bigfoot and Yeti BFF Project Playlist, Episode 13. There it is. Oh my gosh. The Bigfoot and Yeti pops. Look at the detail. Look at the nice painting, the wash there. Just got to fix the head and I got to try to restore whatever's degrading the vinyl on the back of him. Nothing degrading here. But it could use a good wash because they've been in the box since 2008. Ooh, you're looking at my butt? You're looking at my butt back there? Okay. I love them. I love them. I wasn't expecting to have to repair and clean them, but I have them. That's what matters is I have them, and I've made the video, and you have thumbed up the video. Foot. Phantom of the Forest figures. Classic. Wacky Wobblers. From 2008. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, information I gave you and the images from... This, the credits and everything, it's cute, it's cute. Okay, there they are. Uh, let me show you a close-up of the Comic-Con stickers. Bigfoot exclusive, Yeti exclusive, and like I said, there's also a distinct Sasquatch variation and a glow-in-the-dark variation. Okay, but this, love it, love, 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 love it, love them both. Thumbs up. Oh yeah, he's not going to wobble real good because he's broken. Thumbs up. Goodbye, and we out. Goodbye.